Welcome back to Mr. Fusion 360 and in this tutorial I am going to be showing you how I made this exhaust fan with its complete body using Autodesk Fusion 360. Let's get started. So first of all I am going to make the fan and the fan would be on the bottom plane. Uh, We'll make a cir circle around uh, 302 millimeters. The dimensions are uh, the dimensions are not accurate, and they are not measured. It they are just approximate. Now I will make a coil on the same plane. The coil radius will be 300 millimeters. After this, I will hide these. Now I will make a line from this point and to this point. Now finish sketch. Now go to surface work, work surface tab. Go to sweep. Select type as path plus guide rail. Select the profile as this. But path would be this. And the guide rail would be this. It will give you the body. Grid body. Now in the same tab, I will go to create and go to thicken. I will thicken this space to a distance of 2 mm. Now go to forward tab and go to extrude like this space and the direction would be two sided. First would be uh, 100 mm. distance of 10 millimeters again now after this I will go to create and go to pattern and I will select circular pattern select blade and the axis would be this and the quantity for now I have selected as 7 that is okay now you uh, you'll notice that we have too many bodies so just go to combine like the target body and the tool body would be these uh, blades for these the operation would be join and it will just combine all the bodies and will add that add, add the boards into a, per, a particular body that you have selected and it will make it a new body just like this now I will make it hollow from this I will just create a circle and the distance would be 275 millimeters and I will just extrude it to a distance of minus 75 millimeters
now we have our fan ready and we have to make that body so just go to new component and i will rename this as fan body i will create sketch on the bottom plane and the distance uh, we have add as 275 millimeters so we will have as 270 millimeters now i will extrude it and the extrude distance would be the direction would be two sided the first one would be around this the second one would be from uh, 30 millimeters downwards after this uh, i will make a body like this let me show you i'll make a simple sketch like this it will surround the fan and after this i will make a square around it so i will just uh, create a circle on the same plane which will surround the fan around 540 millimeters or let it 535 again one as 545 millimeters or you can adjust it as 555 now after this i will make line around uh 300 millimeters vertical and same on the right side i will make a square using these points i will just repeat them as here and on the left side now i'll make a simple line you connect which will connect these points for a little modification i made these holes so if you want to make them you can but for now i am not going to make them so after this i will just extrude this sketch or first add fillets on the corners of the sketch at a distance of 50 mm all the sides on all the edges now extrude and i will first extrude the circle this would be of two sided 110 downwards or 115 downwards and uh 50 mm upwards now enable the sketch Okay, 
to represent the motor uh, for, for now i had made that motor earlier also i have i haven't made the motor because that will just become very complicated I will go to web I'll select the line made or we can also try a different way we'll just add offset to this as 20 millimeters and then connect them and it a little bit would be joined now I will add fillet to the selected faces or I will first add fillet to these because they will let us to select the whole this curve we have to add a distance of 25 millimeters I will again add fillet
So please do subscribe if you are new to this channel and leave a like below if you like this video. Thanks for watching.